Hey guys, Bingo Cat here, and today we will be taking a look back at the original version of Google Chrome, Google Chrome version 0.2.149. Google Chrome was originally released to the world as a beta product on September 2nd, 2008, and was originally compatible with Windows XP and Windows Vista. This was after four years of speculation that Google was building a web browser to compete with the likes of Internet Explorer and Mozilla Firefox, which were the dominant browsers at the time. Perhaps the biggest advantage of Google Chrome over the other web browsers at the time was that Google Chrome used a multi-process architecture, meaning that if one web page crashed, the entire browser would not crash as well, which was the opposite of how most web browsers worked back then. Google also touted the speed of the web browser back then because, in theory, Chrome should have been faster than any other web browser due to the fact that Chrome loads each tab in a completely separate process, instead of lumping the whole browser together in one big process. The interface of the browser was also praised because at the time, it was undoubtedly one of the most minimalistic browsers, and the design of Google Chrome was so successful that most modern day web browsers now take after the looks of Chrome. And also, the overall design of Google Chrome really has not changed much since its release. Google Chrome also introduced a new private browsing mode called incognito mode, which wasn't too common in major web browsers of the time. Lastly, my personal favorite feature that was introduced in the original Google Chrome was and is the Omnibox, which is a fancy name for the combination of the address bar and search box into one box in Google Chrome, which is a neat feature because you can go to websites, search for information, search your browsing history, and even use other search engines, all from one place. The main drawbacks of Google Chrome at the time included not having support for any browser extensions, not having the ability to sync your information between multiple web browsers, and Chrome did not even have a full screen mode. Since then, Google Chrome has introduced support for all of these features, and more. So let's take a first-hand look at the web browser. Now, I actually downloaded and installed this on the day it came out back in 2008, and my original impressions of the browser back then were mixed. To be honest, I wasn't really convinced that Chrome was the future back then, but it obviously was, as over 8 years later, it is now the world's most popular web browser. I wasn't a big fan of the minimalistic design of the browser at the time, as I liked having things such as a menu bar or a status bar present in the browser. But I have since then gone used to it, and since then nearly every web browser has copied the basic design of Chrome. Many tech websites and reviewers back then praised Chrome for its speed, but in my usage I didn't really notice much of a difference between Chrome and the other web browsers. I liked the idea of the Omnibox, but I missed having a separate dedicated search box in the browser. I was also disappointed that there wasn't a Mac version of Chrome back then, as the main computer I used back then was a Mac. So back then, I probably wouldn't have used Chrome over Firefox or Internet Explorer or Safari, but I have since then switched to using Chrome as my primary web browser, and I've been doing so since roughly 2010. Alright guys, as you can see, I have the original version of Google Chrome running right here, and just for proof, I'm going to go to About Google Chrome, and as you guys can see, I'm running Google Chrome version 0.2.149.27, released back in 2008. And as you guys can see, I am running this on Windows Vista. I wanted to run this on Windows Vista because Vista and Windows XP were the original operating systems Google Chrome was released for. And so I wanted to show you guys, I guess, more authentically what it would be like to uh, use Google Chrome back in like 2008. And something else you guys might notice is that the icon for Google Chrome back then was different. Back then it looked way more 3D than it does today. Today the icon is pretty flat because back in 2008, skeuomorphic designs were more popular in user interfaces than flat design than they are today. And so finding the files for the original version of Google Chrome, like finding the actual download, that was a pain, man. I think. I eventually found the files on some shady download website somewhere where I had to actually sign up for an account and then wait 60 seconds to download it and then it downloaded it in a ROAR file. But luckily the file was not malicious, it wasn't a virus or anything like that. 
And so I eventually did find the original version of Google Chrome. Uh, mind you, this was like on the 15th page of Google or something like that too. And so luckily I did find the original version of Google Chrome and this is the original version. So right off the bat, this version of Google Chrome, even though it's over eight years old, looks really similar to today's Google Chrome. Google hasn't really changed the uh, user interface of Google Chrome that much since it was released. The basic user interface anyways, you still have your tabs right here and then um, it still has the same basic functions like you have your Omni box right here where I can just type in stuff like Google. It searches my history or allows me to search Google for Google or I can search for Google Maps or you know things like that. Or if I searched for Yahoo, I can go to yahoo.com or search Yahoo for something. And um, I can search for Yahoo Mail, stuff like that. Um, the Omnibox and Google Chrome back then. Well, I had mixed feelings about the Omnibox and not really having a drop down URL box or a separate search box back then. I do like the idea now of just having one box for everything. It makes looking for stuff so much easier. And while well, Google's is king at search so um, you know I expect them to know what they're doing when it comes for searching for stuff. Now I sort of mentioned this earlier but Google Chrome actually lacked a lot of what browsers back in 2008 had. Like Google Chrome did not support extensions like Firefox did back then so if you wanted to use Adblock in Google Chrome or uBlock Origin or whatever you couldn't back in 2008. You had to wait until Google started supporting extensions which thankfully they did. Something else I want to point out is that a lot of l little miscellaneous stuff about Google Chrome back in the original version is different than what it is now. Like for example, if you wanted to get to the settings in Google Chrome, which they now call the options, it would bring up the options in a completely separate window, where nowadays if you were to go to settings in Google Chrome, it would open your settings in a new tab instead of a new window. But once again, a lot of things that were present in 2008's version of Google Chrome, it's still here in the modern version of Google Chrome. Like you still have your downloads open in a separate tab and you can search through your downloads. And you still have your browsing history showing up in a separate tab. And once again, you can search through your history. So yeah, the original version of Google Chrome, guys, I'm sorry that this look at Google Chrome wasn't too much longer, but I mean, it's pretty basic. It's still pretty much really, really, really similar to how it is today. It's not like, you know, like if you're the look at Internet Explorer 11 and compare it to Internet Explorer 6 or either look at Firefox version, whatever the heck they're on now, versus Firefox 3, it would look so different. But the original version of Google Chrome versus the modern version of Google Chrome, it functions really similar, it looks really similar. Mainly, the differences in Google Chrome nowadays, the main differences from back in 2008 and now are mainly under the hood changes like support for newer web standards, support for newer technologies such as HTML5, um, updating the underlying existing technologies like updating Adobe Flash versions, you know, things like that. Thanks for watching guys, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and please check out my Twitter, Instagram, and website, linked down below in the description. As always, I thank you guys for watching. Goodbye!